If you're looking for a dual color printer for Christmas, these are two low cost options that are really popular right now. The A10M and the A20M, both from GTEC. I'm going to compare the two and talk about the differences on today's Filament Friday. The first major difference between these two is the price. This one you can get for $239 to $259 at Banggood or Gearbest. It's a little bit more at Amazon. This one $349, pretty much everywhere. I think Amazon has it even more. But it's like $100 difference between the two. So what do you get for that extra $100? Well, the first thing is build area. This one's a 220 by 220 by 260 tall, where this one's 255 by 255 by 255. So you lose a little bit of height here, but you gain it in the base, the X and the Y. And I got to tell you, that extra space is helpful. I find the 220 by 220 a little bit limiting. That's why I love my CR10 Mini back here. It's got a 300 millimeter wide, but it's not too big for a bench, only 220 deep. But that's an advantage to a bigger printer. I can fit a lot more on that. And I found that this size is pretty nice. 255 square is a good size. So that's definitely worth something. Now the other thing that I noticed is the electronics. The electronic boards and all the components used are almost completely the same between these two, except for the LCD. The LCD on this is a full graphics display, so it's got better graphics, better detail. This is just a 4x20 LCD. So this is a little easier to read, a little easier to understand. But other than that, it's the same controller, same power supply, same everything else. The hot ends, identical. It's a single nozzle with two colors coming in. So one has to lift for the other one to print, and then they reverse. But it works pretty well, and... In that respect, again, they're identical. They both can be upgraded with auto level. They have the brackets. They have the electronics already connected. They're both open source, so you can get the firmware for them. So what's the other difference? Well, the other difference is the quality of the build. This particular one has this cable between the electronics and the LCD display. And i got to tell you, it's terrible. I set this down on something by accident, it popped the cable, it broke the connector inside the electronics, and it's not easy to fix. I was able to jam a piece of PTFE tubing into the case and hold it down and get it to work. Otherwise, the knob didn't work on the LCD. That is a very weak point on this machine. This has the same cable, but because it's all packaged in this metal case, it's all protected, it can't get uh, knocked out and so I find that that's a huge advantage if it's going to move around at all or if it's going to sit on top of things or get shoved in a closet or something um, it's just that is something GTEC needs to fix that is a terrible terrible setup in my opinion but other than that print quality identical I printed both the sample lizards it both printed really nice I think it did a great job printing these Identical. For 100 bucks, no difference. They both did the blend. These can do a blend color like this on the dog. It's a very cool feature. Both of them can do it. So I really don't think you're getting a whole lot more for 100 bucks. But that build area and the protected electronics, for me, it's worth it. For some people, the question may be, do I need dual color? You've got the A10M which has that same crappy cable which hasn't been a problem on this guy yet but this is a single nozzle single color but you can print dual color on a machine like this just like I did here this was actually printed on my CR10 Mini but this size right here will barely fit on either one of these and definitely fit on this guy but it's dual color and I printed white and then I printed red all I did was swap out pause it swap out the filament and then keep printing it looks pretty good because it gives you a 3D dimension. But I wanted to see if I could print something like this on the dual color machine, but make it flat. So I wouldn't have to pause it, change filament, let the two colors do their thing. Using Simplify 3D version 4.0, I printed these. One on each one. And it made its own little prime tower, which went up here on the bed. And it did a good job overall, but the white bled into the H in both cases. And that was because the prime tower wasn't big enough. 
and I couldn't really change that. The prime tower is where it changes the color. It goes off and bleeds off any excess filament and then comes back and prints with the new color. So it didn't bleed off enough to let the red H come through. So then I switched to the new Simplify 3D version 4.1 which has an improved wizard for doing dual color. And these I printed. Now if you notice I got the colors right this time. Last time I got the colors backwards. But this one prints a bigger prime tower for both of them. And in this case the H came out the proper color. In this case it was white against the red. But they printed both about equal. Um, the spacing or the overlap in the white around the letters is kind of rough. But that's a setting within Simplify 3D, I believe. It's not a result of the printer. But they're nice and flat. There's no dual color, you know, edge. And I think it did a pretty decent job. So that's the difference. I can do a flat one with these versus a 3D version on a single nozzle. But the main advantage to the dual color is when you're going to do something like this. When you're going to do a toy or a decorative thing where you want to blend the colors like this. And you can't really do this on a single nozzle printer. So it really comes down to how much do you plan to use a dual color setup. And that will determine whether these are worth the money or not. Now personally I still like the bigger bed. I like this base with the better uh, cabling. And for me, if I'm going to do a lot of dual color, I'd go with this one. It's worth it to me for the extra 100 bucks versus this. Just the bed size alone, I, I just think it's worth a little extra. But if you're on a budget, just as good a prints out of this guy. So it's really up to you. I'd really love to hear your comments, especially if you've got one of these. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So that's it for this week. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. If you want to help support the channel, support me on Patreon. If nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.